parents are grappling with the reality of paying school fees just a week after schools closed. All learners are expected back in class on the 26th of July, barely nine days after they closed school. However, Education CS George Magoha has warned school heads against sending students home over non-payment of fees. Zainab Mohammed with the details. Speaking at Motomo Primary School in Gatundu, South Kiambu County, Education CS Professor George Magoha has warned secondary school heads against sending students home over non-payment of fees. According to the CS, parents with fee arrears should be given time to pay instead of sending their children home, thus disrupting their learning. Other ministry of Interior and Coordination of the National Government through, chief, through the county administration Every child must and we shall take to school. A child has no capacity to decide that the child is not going to school. And if we find that we will not be able to do our total or any school, we will ask you to visit us in a police station. As a parent, it will be a duty to ensure that the child is made available because we shall come for the child from your house. In case of what? Because education is the only thing that will change this country. Meanwhile, Machakos MP Victor Munyaka has criticized Magoha's directive on school bus use by communities, saying parents play a huge role in purchasing of those buses, hence shouldn't be restricted to use them. Magoha uh, does not really know about reality. Sasa ukija huku kwa community, unajua utapata there are so many needs with the community. Iko kwaya about that I am going to perform somewhere. Kuenesa neno la mungu, sidiyo? Na iyo kwaya, au kwaya wanyawe, ni wazazi wa wale watoto. So you cannot separate the students from the parents. Elsewhere, Katiani MP Robert Mbui has rubbished proposals by the Ministry of Education on consolidating schools with less than 30 candidates registered for national exams. According to Mbui, all students should be allowed to sit for the examinations at their respective schools. Zainab Mohammed, T47.